This video segment is going to show you some of the areas where you can be using your right click on your mouse in order to find other options while working on different documents and programs on your computer. The example I like to give to my audiences when I offer training is that we've all been sitting at our computers shaking our heads wondering how to do something in a particular program and what I often find myself saying is there's got to be a way to do this and usually there is and it's as easy and close as right clicking on my mouse. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to a document. Here's a Word document. This is an article that I have started um, regarding different task apps that are available for your smartphone. And um, I'm just going to show you a couple different things that you can do. So I can highlight this whole area and right click and be given options now to put it in bullet format or numbering format. So if I wanted this article numbered, it's as easy as doing it just like that. If I wanted to create a hyperlink to the Wonderlist website so that as you're reading this article you can hover your mouse on top of the Wonderlist word and you can click on it taking it directly to their website, I can highlight Wonderlist, right click, and now here's all my op options. I can restart this as number one instead of number two. I can go all the way down here and click on hyperlink and then follow the instructions there on how to create that shortcut within my article. The next area I want to show you where you can be right clicking is in an Excel spreadsheet. Here's a spreadsheet that I've created just for this training purpose and I have listed my keynote topics here and my most popular workshops and breakout sessions here. If I wanted to include a specific note about one of these I can insert a comment. So for example the getting organized with Outlook session has a very specific handout that is required to go with the training. So I can just um, highlight this cell, right click, and go down here where it says insert comment. So the comment box opens and I can say right here, I'll just type this in, requires Outlook resource card as the handout. And now that comment is saved in there and whenever I hover over it, it just pops open. If I ever wanted to remove a comment, I right click again, go down and say delete comment. The last area that I want to show you where I right click the most is in Outlook. Here's a sample calendar, a sample week of appointments. As you can see, my calendar is green, but I do have some color-coded appointments. I can go into any area on my calendar that does not have an appointment, and I can right-click and be given lots of different options. One of the options is I can change the color of my calendar. So if you don't like the color of your calendar, it's really easily changed. So now that's kind of a turquoise. I'll do it again just to show you how easy it is. Now we'll do a lavender, which I really don't like, so we're going to go back <laughs> and change it to a turquoise. Okay. If you right click on an existing appointment, you have options available to you here as well, including forward. And when you forward an appointment, it sends it in, in the form of an email. So now that is being attached and being sent to somebody else. Very easy to do. So I hope that the next time you're sitting at your computer, scratching your head, wondering how to do something, you'll take a look at that mouse and start right-clicking all over your screen because you'll, I think you'll be amazed at the options that are given to you. Thanks for tuning in.